Hello YouTubers and thank you for joining us for our weekly interactive coding scenario courtesy of AMCI. These scenarios are recorded live from our classroom in our weekly group study sessions. Each week we will cover a different section from the CPT manual, so please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out. As we go through the weekly scenario, please feel free to solve along with us to strengthen your coding skills. Hope you enjoy. Here are the tools you will need to solve the weekly scenarios. Uh, your CPT and ICD-10-CM manual. The current year is preferred. However, if you have older versions, feel free to use them. The TTT manual is ANCI's Test Taking Techniques Manual, and it is highly recommended when learning medical coding. And also, if you are in a medical coding career already, it is very useful as well. It is ANCI's Test Taking Techniques and all the important guidelines for procedural and diagnostic coding. It also includes the auditing charts you will see us utilize in our e and auditing scenarios. You can always download a free auditing chart from the AAPC website. However, if you do prefer the ones that we use, they are included in the purchase of the TTT manual available at amcicoding.com. And this week, we will be coding. And it's a party for us coders because we're in the house. We could be anywhere. We could be at the movies. We could be at the at the bar with our friends. But you know what? We're working on us. Okay? We're working on us and improving our lifestyle and our money, right? Right? That's right. So let's move on to the next one. And Mrs. Josephine, if you would please read this for us, if you're available. Let me let her yep. test your sound. Yes, Ms. Tasha, awesome. how are you? <laughs> okay, great. We're Thank ready you. for you. Okay. Uh, answer A is 17313-17314 with a modifier 58, 17315, modifier 59, 88314 with a modifier 59. B is 17311-17312 times 7. C is 17313, 17314 times 2, 17315 times 2, and D, 17311, 88302, 17314 times 3, 17312 times 7. And the question is, Dr. Al Alex's co completed Mohn surgery on Debbie's left arm. She reported routine stains on all sides, mapping and color coding of specimens. The procedure was accomplished in three stages with a total of seven blocks in the second stage. How would you report dollar, Dr. Alex's services? Do um, you want to give them three minutes, Ms. Tasha? No, let's stick with two minutes and 30 seconds to two start. Two minutes and 30 seconds, okay. Yes. Give me just a sec. Okay, time starts now.
Okay, time's up. Awesome. I'm just checking in the chat. Okay. Okay. All right. I got you. Great answers in the, in the chat, everybody. Great answers. Great answers. Way to go, Susan. Great job, man. I'm, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm impressed. Okay. Okay. Darcel, I got you. We'll go through this together. No worries. No worries. No worries. Y'all know I love Moe's. I love Mr. Moe's. Great job, Joy. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Okay. So listen, here's the thing. Moe's, once you understand it, and again, in all you're getting, get understanding. Moe's can be tricky, but it can also be a lot of fun. You and I really, you know, I didn't care for math. But I do like Moe's um, and I don't and I don't want you to look at this negatively. OK, I want you to go positively and confidently that you understand Moe's. And if you don't understand it, Moe's, guess what? You will understand Moe's. You just keep coming right back here to group study. Ms. Rochelle, Ms. Josephine, we're going to get you ready and we're going to get you conquering Moe's. So just just let's follow through this together. OK, all right. All hearts and minds, get ready to be clear. We're going through this one together, all right? I like Moe's. So this is what Moe's actually looks like. And the cool thing about Moe's is that as coders, we don't have to see it, <laughs> okay? Because it's not very pleasant. What they do is they cut this piece out, then they lift this part up out of the chunk that they've cut out. And then they slice it into fours. And then from there, they start slicing it like a, I, I say like a piece of cheese. You know how you have the slicer and you're peeling off the top layer, or if you're peeling a piece of fruit, they slice off the front layer, okay? And when they're done, they're left with a hole. It's very interesting to see. Like I, you know, I work in a hospital. For those of you that are new, I see people coming uh, into the hospital w that have had Mo's, and I just stare like, wow, like that's Mo's. <laughs> All right, yeah, whatever, you'll get it. All right, so let's move forward and let's take a look at what it is that we're coding. All right, so you know, as part of the five steps to solving the board exam scenario, you need to look at your code. We need to look at what is happening, okay? Um, okay, Ruth, I'll show you again. This circle right here is the chunk. Consider like a melon, like a melon um, ice cream scooper. You're scooping that part up and then you're slicing it into four and then you start to slice off the top of each section. Don't worry, it'll all come together as you start to read the guidelines, okay? No, the one below circled. This one, do you mean the first one? The one below circled on the second. This here, oh, sure, sure, sure. So this says Mohs surgical margin layer two, extension of tumor circle is represented in Mohs histological selections. So basically what it's saying is, it, is that this particular Mohs tumor is on the second section. It's on the second layer, just in this photo. Okay, this is just an example, okay? It does not have to do with this scenario, but it's saying that this is just in this particular photo that the uh, tumor is gonna be on the second layer, okay? Did you get that? Because this is the time to talk to us. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome. All right, team, here we go. Let's look at our keywords, okay? So our keywords are who, who, Dr. Alexis, right? What? She did Mohs surgery on what? Debbie's left arm. Mapping and coloring coding of the specimens was done. How was it done? Well, it was done in three stages. How with seven blocks, okay? So if we take a look at 17311, Okay, this answer shows up in both B and D. 
got it. I did some C, some B's and I did see some D's. So everybody pay attention. Come out of the other screen. If you're on Facebook, get off. Let's go ahead and concentrate on Mo's, okay? All right. So 17311 is involving muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, and major nerves or vessels. So here's the thing. We were actually in our arm, right? And this is the first stage up to five tissue blocks. Now, 17312 is each additional stage after the first after the first stage, up to five tissue blocks, okay? The thing about D, looking at 17311, you already know that this is the wrong area. It's the wrong location. We're not in the muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves, or vessels. Get out of that. You can already get rid of D, and you can already get rid of B. Boom. That's in the, that's in the first 45 seconds. Okay, that's right, Maria, Marie. There is no arm mentioned in B or D. So you can get rid of this location. Okay. Okay, awesome. You have to read forensically here. You have to know the areas that you're coding, right? Okay, so let's move on. Now, 17313, I like this one. Look, Mo's micrographic technique involving all gross tumor, surgical excision of tissue specimens, mapping, color coding of specimens right? Microscopic examination of specimens by the surgeon and histopathologic preparations, including routine stains, right? Of the trunk, arms, or legs. Now, this is your first stage up to five tissue blocks, okay? Now, 17314 is each additional stage after the first stage. This is after the first stage, Okay, and it's up to five tissue blocks. Now, you do need to list this separately in addition to the code for the primary procedure. Okay, so 17313, 17314, there's only five blocks in the second stage. Okay, so we're missing something here. If you take a look at 17315, there's each additional block after the first five tissue blocks. And you get a hint. It tells you to use 17315 in conjunction with 17311 through 17314. Okay? You have to get all of the tissue blocks here. Okay? In the second stage, the answer is C. Let me go to my chat and let me see what you're saying. You want to remember that this is reported by anatomic sites. So just like we said, we go to the arm. The code already includes mapping, coloring, coding of specimens in the routine stage. The first stage is reported with code 17313. And there's two additional stages are reported with 17314. Okay, and the additional blocks in stage two are reported with 17315 times two. Okay, I'm coming to the chat. <laughs> I can't believe I got that right laugh out loud. Well, I edited that. Miss Tasha, Miss Rochelle, thank you for taking the extra time the other day to explain it because you got through to me. Woohoo! I finally got it when you explained it. Good, 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 good. I just want to thank you, Ms. Tasha. For some reason, I'm getting better at Mo's. Oh, Marie, you're so welcome. But listen, this is all you. It goes back to forensic reading. You have to look at what it is that you're coding. And you have to pull everything out with your keywords. Okay? So tell me, who got that right? If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join us next week as we code another scenario. If you would like to learn more about AMCI, please visit us at the link in the description. Also, if you have any suggestions or requests, please leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. See you next week. Thank you for watching an AMCI exclusive presentation.